Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Happy to be making a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day and also vlogging. It's 8 a.m. right now. We're going to the gym, but the first thing I'm going to be eating for today is some overnight oats. So I wanted to film what I eat in a week, but then I thought it was only right to make what I eat in a day. When it's early, I don't eat a lot, but when it's like 9 a.m., 10 a.m., that's when I'll eat more for breakfast. Anyways, I'm going to eat some overnight oats, and I'm going to show you how I make it. Holy shit, it's 64 degrees. Did you check it? Let's see one more song. Okay, let's go. So this isn't like breakfast breakfast, but it's what I eat like early in the morning, but I'm still gonna cook breakfast. Also like my post gym meal, but, oh, what was I gonna say, what was I gonna say, what was I gonna say? It's delicious. Okay, so how I made this, I don't really measure it. I kind of just use a spoon to like eyeball it. That's the best measurement I can do with this. Anyways, I ended up using three fourths cups of oatmeal, three four cups of milk, like a little spoonful of chia seeds. I put in Greek yogurt, but I usually don't. But since I had it in the fridge and I'm trying to use it up, I used it, I used like a spoon and a half, a splash of vanilla, I use like a spoonful or a tablespoon of peanut butter. I also added some honey and some cinnamon. I mashed up half a banana and I put it all together and I just put it in the fridge and it tastes super good. I ended up not putting all the milk, but I should have because now they're kind of like mushy. Well, they're, they're good, but I feel like they should have been a little bit more like hydrated. But still good and we're at the gym right now. Should I take my camera? I want to. Yeah. Okay. Bro, this is so crooked. Ah! What if it falls? This is the outfit. Bro, I told you I was <laughs> Oh, this is better. I see. So today is leg day and I'm going to show you all my little before because that I still have flat booty and chicken legs as you can tell. Please don't ask me what I be doing because I really don't know. But anyways, I did some hip thrusts and then I did some squats. I'm pretty sure when I know what I'm doing, I will do some video of some gym shit or something. I've just been working on my form and trying to be consistent and then like, you know, all of that gym shit. I did some deadlift and I also did some Bulgarian squats or whatever these leg bench lunges. And I'm probably doing something wrong with my knees, but you know, it's okay. I'm already done. Anyways, I'm gonna show you my little pump after. It's small, but it's still better than no progress, so don't hate on my little boot. The diaper is me. ¿Qué quieres? Okay, let me just like recap what just happened. Right when we came, <laughs> Andres was here. Hey! <laughs> and I showered and then I started cooking, but I didn't film because there was people there, you know, I get shot. But now we're here and I'm just gonna tell y'all how I cooked and what I ate. Stop. <laughs> You're gonna fall. <laughs> So I ate some sopes with some egg and avocado, beans, cheese, salsa. Sir, would you like to say hi? Ven, mira. What are you doing? No. Ira, papa. Say hi. 
He's getting chubbier. Oh my god, I didn't tell you how the time when he got sick, he wasn't really eating how I told him I previously did. Oh no, two videos ago. <laughs> and ever since he got like better and healed, if that's the right word, he's been eating so much and I feel like he's gonna gain weight now because he's been eating everything, like everything. Say hi. Dale beso, beso. So you get your, you know, tortilla mix. One cup of that, half a cup of flour, and about one cup of warm hot water, and like a little bit of salt, like in my palm, and then I just throw it in there. So a lot of people add like baking soda or baking powder. I think baking powder, but I don't. Since I barely started cooking, like a lot of people do in recipes, but I don't find a difference. But you can if you want. Mix that up, roll it into balls. You want them to be pretty thick about the size of your palm, like a little ball, I don't know. Just look at it, okay? It looks better if you look at it. You can make about, I think, seven to eight sopas. I wanna say they're medium, but they're more on the smaller side. It depends on how big you make them. Whenever you flatten out your masa, or like your balls, you don't want it to be thin as tortilla. You want it to be thicker. Not too thick though, but pretty like thicker than tortilla. Just be like double tortilla, I don't know. You put it on like medium-ish heat, medium-high-ish heat. Anyways, you put that shit on the comal, 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other, and then you pinch the sides, and it's gonna be hot, like my fingers are burning still. So you could put like a rag on top and then just pinch it on the top so you don't burn yourself as much. And then you just leave that in the towel or like your little cooking rag. Please don't forget to not do it on the comal. I literally forgot to mention to take the tortilla off, but I think that's kind of obvious, but you know, I'm still gonna mention it just in case you don't know. You're gonna burn yourself, girl. The tortilla doesn't cook all the way, so don't eat it right then and there. You have to get a little bit of oil on like a pan or something, and you basically fry it on, I wanna say, kind of medium low, on a scale from one to 10, like a four. For like three minutes or less, or until you see the bottom to get like doradito or toasted. And you can put whatever you want on it, like if you have like leftover tinga, that would slap. I just had some beans. I wanted to do refried beans to put in the sope, but um, I didn't have time for that. I put queso fresco. I wanted queso Oaxaca, but there wasn't any. And salsa. And avocado, mm -hmm. and then the egg on the side, and then a little drink. And that was my little breakfast. I tried to make like fried egg, but I'm not really good at cooking egg. I just put that shit on the oil. Put some salt and pepper on it. So that's why I didn't show y'all how I cooked it. It's just like, I'm not good at cooking it. And it was so good. The beans were so good. Like they have good flavor. I don't like them super bland. My mom only puts water and salt and I'm just like, bro. So now I'm just gonna chill with Andres. Look at my child. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿A dónde vas? No, Andres. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh oh. Yeah. Trabajando, trabajando. I cooked the beans last night. It's good to have beans, you know. And that's how you cook food faster. Have stuff ready, you know. Okay, so for lunch, we're gonna eat soup dumplings. And I did my own dough, but I'd rather just go to the store and buy the pre-made dumpling dough, like the little circle. But I don't want to go to the store, so I just made it, and it's going to take like 30 extra minutes. Actually, maybe like 40, but it's okay. Next time, I'll just buy it. Okay. So I also made like this chicken broth jelly for the filling. So I wanted to make um, every meal I ate today like a recipe but this one was like an experiment so it's not really a recipe it's just like i'm telling you kind of what i did but not a recipe you know it looks horrible but it's still gonna taste good i'm gonna steam it for like eight minutes and then you make a dipping sauce and you eat it and i forgot to put oil on the pan so it doesn't stick but i already tasted one and they're so good but it's missing the soup because the soup is gonna fall off when i pick it up I'm so sad. At least I have a sauce to dip it in. Don't even ask me what I put in here. I know it's like soy sauce, brown sugar. I forgot to put garlic. 
but I put onion and red chili flakes and it's still good to me. So it's too late, but if I scooped it, it didn't really rip, but like I said, it's too late. So I'm just gonna eat them like this, bro. <laughs> They're good as hell, so I don't care. Let me take a bite. I like the sauce to be sweet, though. Can you even see that? Bro! Blue red death. But this is just the rip dough, okay? This recipe is really easy if you have the dough ready. Like store-bought. And it shouldn't take that long. But I've made the dough, so... It's okay. Honestly, the sauce makes up for it because it doesn't have any soup. Okay, so I'm going to cook dinner. Jordy got Wendy's, but I'm dedicated to cooking. So, I'm gonna be cooking some teriyaki glazed Brussels sprouts with white rice and chicken. I don't know what kind of chicken I want. I like it in the oven, but that should take 30 minutes. So, no. But maybe. I'm gonna use one cup of rice. This is enough for two of us. I'm just throwing like a little bit of leftovers, I think. This is a 16 ounce Brussels sprouts bag, but I'm only gonna use half because it's only me and, and Jordy. All you're gonna need for the Brussels sprouts, oh my god, it's a mess, is olive oil, salt, pepper, and whatever sauce you want with it. I'm trying to use this up, so I'm gonna use it. Ow! I have a pot right here. You're gonna need like two cups of water. And you're gonna wash the rice until the water's clear, or pretty much clear. And then you're gonna add it. You need a pot with a lid, but I don't have one. I don't know where the hell it went. So I'm just gonna use like tin foil or something. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on like pretty medium high and then put some oil in it. Just so it's like, I don't know. I don't know where I put it in. A little bit of salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on. And then you're gonna need a bay leaf and you mix it up and you boil it. That's a bay leaf. You're going to boil it and then you're going to put it on low and simmer it. Also, I preheated the oven to 400. You cook the rice for 15 minutes or somewhere around there. Okay, so it's not a lot, but it's okay because it's only a side. Here, hold this. Just like face me and this. A little bit of olive oil, just a little bit, okay? Like literally like there. Bro, I don't know why Jordy didn't record the food. He just recorded basically my head. By the way, the trash can on the counter is there because my child likes to try to touch it. Make sure you don't get the trash can. Oh, no, no. Yeah, so it was showing the trash can the whole time. I'll just cut it up. No, I just had to do this. And then a little bit of salt, like I see, you sprinkle it all over. I think that's a lot, but it's okay. Mix that gel. Y'all, I don't know what was going through my head, but I was so freaking concentrated. Okay. <laughs> and then you get. You, a, like <laughs> <laughs> you get a pan and you put a little bit of oil. Just so they don't stick and you face them all down and you put them in the oven for like uh, 12 minutes and you take it out and then you toss them in the teriyaki and you put them back in for like 5 minutes. I don't like mine black so that's why I do it like this. But you can cook it longer if you like it black. Okay, pause. Are you pause. The red button. Beautiful. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Beautiful. Dinner was pushed back 30 minutes because this damn chicken took too long. But I'm going to put the seasoning on the screen and you could double it if it's more than this. It slaps more with drumsticks, but I didn't have any. So you just pack the seasoning on, put some butter. 
Dinge schafft.